move on to our next topic, which is all about the world of Warcraft. Victoria, take it away. Oh, yeah. So actually, today, actually, Shadowlands comes out for World of Warcraft, which is, of course, the next expansion. You're going to have 10 levels to get to max level because they did a level squish because, you know, in BFA, you had to get to level 120 starting mm -hmm. as a new character. That's a lot of levels. Mm. So they did a level squish. So the max level currently is 50. Then in Shadowlands, the next level is 60. Okay. Um, I believe there's five new zones in Shadowlands. You're going to have, like, a lot of complex new things. Covenants. You can craft your own legendaries. They said that they made it more alt-friendly, but we'll see about that. <laughs> um, and, like, the end game here is you choose one of these covenants to ally yourself with and you get a unique passive ability for allying with the Covenant, and you get a unique on-use ability. So you have to pick the right Covenant for your class. Of course, each class is going to have a different Covenant they want to get the best, I guess, min-maxing out of their character if they're playing at that level. Right. But I'm really excited for it, because BFA was kind of a flop for me, at least. Mm -hmm. um, there was just, in BFA, there was so much you had to do. You had to power up your Azurite necklace, but to, like, keep up, you had to, like, grind world quests all the time. That was kind of boring. And it just felt like playing was a chore. Like, yeah. you had to get on. You have to do this stuff. Right. So, you hope for less of that in Shadowlands. Now, I know, That's like, um, out of the four of us, you're probably the most experienced with WoW, uh, right? Am I yeah. on par with saying that, Caboose and Steve? I don't know no, I think what you're you right. guys experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so with, uh, with Shadowlands, like, I know before, I think actually you might have complained about the leveling experience of WoW and how, like, it's kind of like this legacy brand but it, it's kind of dying down because of that. I know a few people have mentioned when they've played the alpha that this is kind of revitalizing. Do you feel that's pretty hopeful when you're looking at Shadowlands? Yeah, I think Shadowlands is taking... So in Shadowlands, everyone is going through the same linear quest path, whereas in like BFA and in Legion, everyone could choose where they wanted to go and like the levels would scale to your level. Right. So then everyone just went everywhere, but I guess it creates a lot of stress because people are like, which zone do I go to first? How do I know which zone has the most optimal quests? And also there was a lot of exploits you could do with that so people could cheese their way to max level because it's hard to catch all the exploits when you give players so much choice. <laughs> so once you complete Shadowlands the first time, though, all your alts, you can choose to level whatever order you want. Cool. So okay. hopefully that streamlines the process so we have less bugs and less exploitation so everyone has like the fair advantage of getting to the max level. So now in Shadowlands, it's all about um, kind of like the undead coming back. Do you think that we're going to have a lot of like older, familiar faces? Like, do you I'm think hoping to see... I'm hoping to see older characters come back. Um, one of my favorite characters is Vol'jin. He is the leader of the Dark Spear Trolls, and he became War Chief at like basically end of Mist, start of Legion. And they li they literally like killed him within like the first <laughs> hour of Legion. No! They and Legion <laughs> killed so many important characters. Like a lot of people were sad. You know, they killed the King of Stormwind, they killed Vol'jin, um, they killed Tyrion, I believe, the Paladin. Lannister? Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so maybe we'll see these characters, maybe we'll see even old characters like Uther, this Paladin back in Shadowlands. I haven't, you know, looked at any quests or anything i haven't played the beta so mm -hmm. i'm not spoiled on any of the story elements but i'm mostly looking forward to see vol'jin again for the horde because he was such this important character really strong and he died <laughs> he died he died he died um so with world of warcraft it's like is it the oldest mmorpg 
I that's like so that relevant right now. It's sixteen still years relevant. old. They just yeah. had their sixteenth anniversary. It ended yeah, today, right? World of Warcraft yeah. has yeah. been around yeah. as long as I've been playing video games. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's just always been there. Yeah, it's like a if you're if you're gonna talk about a game, you know, if if we're going back to like the subject of the game awards, if you're gonna talk about a game that's like the best ongoing game, that should just always be in contention, man. That <laughs> game is just always around. Yeah. Every single year, yeah. it, it's somehow. It just, it's somehow, and like when you were mentioning um, previously, like how it's kind of like the fall of Warcraft, it it, it it's kind of disheartening because you want that like game. Just even if I don't play MMORPGs, I just want that game to have this like long... as an option. Yeah, no, not as an option. Or... I'm, I'm never gonna play World of Warcraft. <laughs> Let's put it out there. I am never gonna play that game. But I just like knowing that it's out there as like this legacy brand that's been around for it's so really long and people yeah. are still playing it. Like there's yeah, that for someone that, else, just not you. Exactly. Just not me. <laughs> I'll enjoy all the trailers and cinematics. I right. said it before. Every time oh, yeah. Blizzard puts the out cinematics. a cinematic trailer okay. for any expansion, it looks so good. It makes me want a movie. And then I remember, oh, they tried that. It, it was at the best. Work. No. <laughs> So I'll just keep going back to the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Now, obviously, being kind of like outside the the World of Warcraft bubble, like how how is the community feeling about this one? Are, are they feeling pretty good well, headed into it? Some people have their doubts because at first people were worried about covenants because they're like, oh, what if I choose mm -hmm. the wrong one for my class, and then people don't invite me to raids, people don't invite me to dungeons right. because I chose the wrong covenant. So they made it so you can like switch your covenant with the least amount of, I guess, throwing you backwards in progress. I, I think you just do a quest line. You, of course, have to like work up the covenant XP again, I think. But you'll have access to the ability and passive without having to do, I guess, hours and hours of work. Mm -hmm. That's because just that's like the biggest concern, right? What if I choose the wrong one and I can't fix it? Well, that's what or I'm what saying. If, that's my huge concern. In the future, the best one is no longer the best one, and they like do some bust or nurse, and then a different one's the best one. Like I have to switch, yeah. or else no one invites me to the raids. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many stresses for World of Warcraft players, um, but I think Shadowlands is going to offer them a lot of just a lot of life uh, to the game yeah. and hopefully it'll attract new gamers. Not me, hopefully, no. but other oh, new yeah. gamers. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the thing the mo people are most excited for is it's not BFA. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So be excited because it's not BFA. <laughs> yeah. For now though, I'm going to be excited because I need to refill my water. So we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 